Allie, I want to thank you for choosing me to stand next to you just as you stood next to me. For those of you that don't know me, I am Allie slightly older, a little wiser sister who at some times can be a little mothering. Growing up, I've always been there to give Allie advice, whether she needed it and at times when she didn't want to hear it. Now, I'm no expert, but I have learned a few things over the last 12 years that I'm going to share. Communicate always. Don't take one another for granted. Always remember to laugh and don't lose sight of the bigger picture. Have patience, especially when you've told Bailey a thousand times to put his dirty clothes in the hamper, yet they only ever seem to make it to the bathroom floor. Always forgive one another. Take time to hold each other a little tighter. Kiss a little slower. Love one another unconditionally. Have faith. When you think you've hit rock bottom, just remember it could always be worse. And lastly, always say I love you, for this life is a precious gift from God and tomorrow is never promised. I pray for the two of you to have a lifetime filled with love and laughter, to face each challenge hand in hand and side by side, to have memories you'll cherish always, and to never stop appreciating one another for all the days of your life. So if everybody can raise their glass and cheers to the new Mr. and Mrs. Jennings Buckler. You're my best friend and my rock. I can't imagine going through life without you. With that being said, I want to promise you a few things. I promise to always support you and that Cobra. <laughs> no, no, this does not mean you can go twin turbos. I promise to make sure I'm not you're just hungry before I yell. I promise to hold your hand every chance I get. I promise to remember that neither one of us is perfect, but strive to remind myself of the ways we are perfect for each other. I promise you, for as long as I am alive, you will never be alone or have to wonder if you are loved. I promise no matter how hard things might get, I will never give up on you. I will never give up, give up on us. Here's to a lifetime of tears, lots of laughs, and one hell of a ride together. I love you forever and ever. I remember a little over two and a half years ago when I was talking to Nana and out of the blue, she said, I think it's time you marry that girl. I always knew that I wanted to marry you, but to actually hear it said from someone else so important to me, the thought's so real. I couldn't imagine spending the rest of my life without you, Allie. You, you truly make everything in my day better. From a long day at work or talking to you from a hotel room on travel, you made every situation better. Now with no travel, we have started our family. I know I pushed back on the wiener dog for a little bit, but I couldn't resist how happy they made you. And now I think I love them more than you. Papa Duke is going to be the start of our family and I can't wait for us to spend every second with him and watch all three of us grow together. This day will be my favorite day in time. I can't wait to see what the future holds as we grow together. I know our best times are still to come with so many things to do in our life, like our house we will build 
and our Papa Duke and maybe just maybe a baby way down way down on the list of things to do I know we will have our tough times but I know we will have each other to push through and lean on for whatever life gives us I know that I love you and can't believe that you said yes and I married the girl of my dreams I can't believe how much we have grown from just meeting by chance to now about to walk down the aisle and marry you you are my world and will always be my world I love you forever and ever Bailey I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Father and the Holy Spirit. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Bailey, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Friends and family, I'd like to announce for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jennings Bailey Buckler. I just want to set up a scene for you guys real quick. Um, Bailey comes in for his ever so often haircut and he sits in my chair for a little bit talking about the normal whatevers we talk about. Then he, then he just drops it. Allie and I were talking the other day and I'd like for you to marry us. And uh, I choked. I said yes. I said I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. I said marry you? Okay. I said, because in the back of my head, all I heard was, I bet you won't marry us. Anyone who, knew up, who, anyone who grew up with an older sibling knows that's nothing you can back down from. But what I also know after doing something like this for him is that you owe me one.
know, Bailey's been my best friend since we were in high school, probably even before that, playing ball and everything like that. And, um, you know, I'm just so happy for you guys. And just, I'll be always be here for you guys when you need me, if you ever need me. And then I'm just so happy for you too, and that's all I got. <laughs> Love you guys. To Allie's parents, Joyce and David, for all that they've done, and especially for raising a beautiful daughter to be my son's soulmate. It comes in spurts. I hope I didn't forget anybody, but trust me, um, we really thank everybody that helped. And to Blair, who I swore they were lying to me last night when they said that he was doing this. No, I didn't find out till last night. Um, that was a huge thing for you to do for your brother. Um, if I missed anyone, I apologize. And um, finally, I want to thank all of you for just sharing in the special day.